There's things coming up. There's comments. Is that right, Jamie Jackson? Yeah. He's gonna let people see me just. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Hi. I'm good. Let me make my phone louder. Let me see. Okay. I think all your kids are on here. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could DJ pre. I know, I wish I could too. Should we say how we met? Yes, I, I have a lot to say about all of this. All right, so how Jamie and I met was Jamie and her husband Waz are singer songwriters in their own right. And she was doing a favor and teaching piano to a friend of mine's little girl. And uh, I met Jamie and then I was at this person's house and then begged her to teach Charlotte. And she was like, but I don't really teach piano. I'm like, please, <laughs> this kid really wants to learn. Please, please, please. So she came over to teach Charlotte Piano, who loved it, and taught her how to read music, play classical, and then also had the brilliant idea that she taught, she said to Charlotte, half the lesson can be you figuring out a song of yours that you love and learning that. And that's what made Charlotte love the piano. Mm -hmm. And also, Jamie noticed she had a beautiful voice, but she never made her belt it or sing it loud. I had no idea because Charlotte really likes to play the piano very loudly. Mm -hmm. She has freedom with that pedal. And uh, I didn't know she'll, till Jamie got a microphone in the house when she was like 13. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my God, she has the <laughs> most incredible voice. So Jamie is to thank. And then, then Jamie told me she was, um, she and Waz had been working on composing and composed on another show. I'm like, well, I hire composers. And for Cougar Town, we did uh, five different composers. I wanted Jamie and Waz, but there was a lot of chefs in the kitchen. So they did blind. No one said who it was. Everyone had to listen. And they won. And since then, Jamie and Waz have been working for Bill and numerous other shows. They have their own career going. Now we fight for them to see if they can come and work for us and we love each other yes uh, right, uh, and my version of the story is i walk in and, and there's you know i've never met krista before she's got three kids i think charlotte was five or six at the time and requesting to learn Joni mitchell and kate bush songs where i'm like oh this this mother is really badass <laughs> five-year-old is asking to learn Kate Bush and Joni Mitchell and little Henry running around in diapers singing Psycho Killer by Talking Heads. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I will say that when Waz and I, at the time when we met, we were at Hotel Cafe a lot. It was the singer-songwriter scene. I think it still is. And if you got your song on Scrubs, you were hot shit because not only was it just, you can get your song on a show and that's great, but when you get your song on Scrubs, it's going to be in the right scene at the right moment. The audience is going to connect with it and your career is going to take off. And I know that you did that for 
not just Waz and I, because honestly, we had not composed for any shows before. You and Bill took a huge risk on us. Um, but a lot of indie artists, you've helped a lot of indie artists launch their careers. And you're still doing that. I know that just happened with Ted Lasso. And I don't know if it was the first or second season, but you placed a song and it just like exploded, yeah. you know, and you can get your song placed on shows, but it really has to have that connection so that the audience connects with it. And that's what you're so good at. Thanks. And um, I'm really curious how this started for you where when did you I know you were a model and an actor growing up um, um but when did your love for how did your love for music spark well you know remember my mom was a supermodel and young right and she always we had a country house and she always had young cool people out there for the weekend and she always played cool music for me mm -hmm. and then I got I just loved music. I, I, from when there was Walkmans, I used to make mixtapes and walk in New York and think of movies in my head. And I always wanted to listen to music. And also we would drive out to the country um, back and forth every weekend, even in the winter. And so we'd play music. And so mm -hmm. like you'd get, I'd get lots of music. And then I, I wasn't a proper DJ, but I would, fill in for the DJ when he wanted to take a break. So I would go in and DJ things and just got into really into music. And then um, I felt I always had good taste in music, even though everyone thinks they have good taste in music. Um, and, and then when Bill was doing Scrubs, he couldn't get the pilot. And I was like, let me take a look at it. And then I placed all the songs in the pilot and he said, now you're doing the music for the whole show. <laughs> And that's how it started. And then I started taking it really seriously. Mm -hmm. When you and Bill met, did, did you have the same musical taste? Did yes. You... And he always had me make him mixtapes. Yes, we had the same. I mean, I was slightly different. He has some areas that he goes off in that aren't cool. But um, <laughs> yeah, I introduced him to cool music. Um, and I like rap. He doesn't, he's not a big fan, fan of rap. Um, but he trusts me with the music, you know, placing it. If I tell him, this is cool, this is going to work, this is a cool new band, he usually listens to me. Well, you're really good at finding treasures in general. You're good at finding agates on the side of a canyon. You're good at finding random songs. I mean, I'm always, I've, I call Chris the golden ears because Thank you. You know, when we started working on Cougar Town, we would see cuts and we're like, who is this artist? This is amazing. And it was someone unknown. You know, it's not like you're pulling popular songs that are on the charts. You're digging deep and you're finding independent artists and it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I just, even Charlotte will send me music. And I'll like it and I'll like it. And then sometimes I'll, it was like the endangered bird song. She sent that to me and I was like, oh, this is special. I love this. I'm putting it on the show. Like I have a group of really super special ones that I know that if people are listening, it, it could catapult the song. Yeah. So how did you, how do you, before Charlotte, how do you find songs? Um, well, I, I do get some from Charlotte, but I go down wormholes. Like I'll start with a band I like, or, you know, I'll, or KRQ or just reading about indie bands. And a lot of them, you know, I listen to like 30 seconds and I know 20 seconds and I know I won't like it. Um, you know, I go down wormholes. It'll take me, I mean, six hours will go by and then I compile a list. This show, I was lucky because um, we had the script for six months before we shot it. Okay. So I was really able to compile a big list of songs. Okay. But sometimes the most special song that you know would be a hit if it comes out and you know would be great for the scene because I 
shot the scene mm -hmm. doesn't work work for whatever reason tempo right. doesn't work and then i'll say that but it's such a bummer but you know sometimes it just doesn't work right do you use music to prepare as an actor yeah and i also i do this thing that once i have my lines backwards and forwards then i i rehearse them with music on because i know if i can have music on mm -hmm. And know my lines i'll do it but yeah because i always listen to the music that i think i'm gonna put in the show you know to and fro from work mm -hmm. music really gets me in the mood you know what it is if you do you ever look like if you're making um a, like photo compilation for someone mm -hmm. and you have the photos and you're fine and then you decide to add music i mean you'll burst into tears in two seconds music right. is so powerful mm -hmm. You know, and that's like in the show and acting, it goes hand in hand, I think. So how, when Bill's creating a show and writing the script, at what point do you get involved in the process? Um, well, I mean, when the show's been picked up and it's going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to help him hire the composer and then um, you know, tone wise, we discuss what the, what we want the music to be. And I, you know, for this show in particular, I want, you know, Ted Lasso is more, I want to use English brands. Right. Um, you know, it's different. And, and Jason, like Jason has a big influence in the music. So it's more rock, rock and roll. And this, you know, I always love using new bands or newish bands because I have, been brought so much joy in my life for music and I feel like if it's the little way I can give back mm, yeah know, to get music played I want to do it and you've done it for so many people so many artists I know so many independent artists that you know it started at scrubs really honestly. yeah and I and I it makes me so happy I mean, I, I like on um, Cougar Town, we used, um, it wasn't going anywhere. We used um, Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Right. And it was crazy. You know, it's, but there's been a lot of things like that. Because I feel like when you see, when you hear a song to picture, it really is impactful. Yeah. So, um, I'm looking at all my questions because I have many. Um, so shrinking, can you tell me a little bit about the theme and the process of the theme? The scene. Uh, the theme song. Oh, the theme song. Oh my God. This was the best. So Charlotte, what, um, Ben Gibbard produced a lot of Charlotte's new album, Ben Gibbard from death cab for cutie and postal service mm -hmm. and uh i'm a fan of his and pretty soon to when we were going to be premiering apple's like you know it'd be great if we could have you know an established singer do the thing theme song and i'm like well this is fast and uh i happen to call up ben and i'm like Ben, can I send you a link to the show? I think you'll really like it. And you'd have to work with our composer. It wouldn't be like your own thing. And it would have to be at a certain, would you try it? Mm -hmm. And to his credit, and he's so awesome, he watched the first two episodes and sent me back, goes, whether it works out or not, I'm a huge fan. I love the show I'm in. Oh, amazing. And then he wrote, that theme song with our composer, who's also incredible, and I love it. The whole song is great, if you listen to the whole song. Are you gonna release it? Yeah, the song? It, it might even be released. It's, <clears throat> the song is great. I should know that in this interview, but I don't. Okay, okay. And who's the composer on Shrinking? His name is Tom, and I also should know his last How? name. And I'm how? How? Yeah. 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 He's great. He's awesome. 
And Jamie, you're, Jamie, we didn't get Jamie for shrinking because she's doing an hour drama for Bill called Bad Monkey. That's all right. We're in it right now. I'm killing it. We're in it. Um, so my mind was blown by, um, this last song of episode four, the Prince cover. How good is that? Wow. How did you it, find that? I just, well, I'm, I'm a fan of Holly Humberstone. And so I listened to her. And then I heard that, and then I thought of um, Harrison undoing the picture, and then, because it's also funny at the end, like the scene is kind of funny, and then to put that song in it, which is, and I'm not also a big cover person, mm -hmm. you know, I don't love using covers, mm -hmm. and I thought, it, I thought it was incredible. I love that song. So good. I'm it so glad good. you liked it. Yeah. I I was like, I can't. I immediately shazammed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, same. Yeah. So, are you? Um, are there? Are you going to be releasing like your playlist of all of your, your songs that you've placed so far on the episode on Spotify or anything? Yeah, I think when this when the season ends. Mm -hmm. I'll put, um, I'll have to put it on Apple Music. I'll put a um, playlist on Apple Music of all the songs I use. Okay. okay. I'm excited to get it because I'll I mean, I can send it to you privately. Yeah, please do. Tomorrow. So who are you listening to right now? Um... Well, one, one of the bands I love, I don't want to say because the song is so good that I've already saved it for next season. Um, <laughs> I've already, I, I've already saved it. Um, right now, you know, I have my, like, I have a master big playlist and then I add in all my little independent, you know, ones in from there and that's how my playlists go. Mm -hmm. So, what was I, I, I always listen to my big playlist, I have different playlists, like, there's okay. such silly games, like, July Up Tempo, July Cool, mm. Mellow. Mm. And, we and want this a, published. <laughs> we I, want and I have a great big one that has all the classics mm. mixed in with cool songs. Yeah. Then I have Dance Party, which I got mm. old school dance music, new school dance music. Yeah, you just got to come over more, Jamie. Yeah, I want to know, know what the old school dance music is. Are we oh, talking like, we're talking New York? New York, Public Enemy, <laughs> but then you got some, got some new stuff in there. You got to have some DMX in there. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on. You got Chance the Rapper. You got a lot of stuff going on. Awesome. <laughs> I'll be over. Okay. It's Friday. So. It's Friday. Yeah. Um, am I supposed to ask if anyone has questions? I don't know if you see anyone that you want to answer, and then we're supposed to be kind to be wrapping it up. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing that people are saying your Shazammed playlist is fire. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, well, thank you. I'm going to just say thank you from all the independent artists you've helped along the way, because you are a guardian angel to a lot of us, including Waz and I, and we're very grateful. And it's a treat to get to watch your magic and listen, your golden ear magic on shrinking. So everybody should tune in. Thank you. And you're, you're amazing on the show. So, amazing. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye, everyone. Thank you for Bye. watching. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.